Hey there guys, I was at uh, a pilgrimage with a few friends of mine. Uh, we were going to pray at the home of an elderly woman named Atta. who is a member of a local um, Eastern Rite uh, Catholic parish. She is a woman in her late 80s who survived the Soviet occupation of Hungary um, and had seen a lot of miracles in her time. And she was discussing a lot of spiritual warfare, uh, cosmic battles as it were with the other world. And of course, as the conversation was getting really good, uh, with their permission, I pulled out my iPhone and started recording before we entered into communal prayer. So I hope that you enjoy this. And uh, as my friends and I could be heard offering commentary with her and her husband and family, uh, we hope that this just dialogue about spiritual warfare and about faith in difficult times across denominational traditions is a source of hope and grace to you. Jesus, my Lord and my God. And you heard this from EWTN. Jesus, my Lord and my God. And you bring that into your heart. When you feel something is pushing you down, you just keep calling Jesus. Jesus is my soul and my God. So you know you have to really feel in it, and the devil will go away. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Jesus every time. Jesus is my Savior and my God. Jesus is my Savior. 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 Jesus, Savior, and my God. Well, you got Jesus, it. Savior, it's okay. honey. You know me, if I don't write it down, you, Jesus. That's what you got him yeah, for. Yeah, you write, you write. Jesus, <laughs> you my got. Savior and my God. That's you all write. that matters. But you didn't hear it as much as I did, and I, like, see, I could not think. Jesus, my Savior and my God, you write, honey. Thank you. And you're right, it's needed because there's you're a lot welcome. of spiritual warfare. Yeah. <laughs> that he's right, Jesus, my Savior, my Savior and my God. And, my God. and that makes you feel inside stronger because you know you have Jesus, not the devil is trying to ruin your life. Mm -hmm. Like in Florida, there's so many things are going on mm -hmm. with this devil going to the people. I mean, my sister's neighbor was telling us, it went into her nieces who's 25 years old, and she said it was awful. The priest said that every day they have so many people calling that they need help. So you see, the devil is really working very hard. And you can do that, you know, you have to be strong. If you feel not good about yourself, you say, no, Jesus is my savior and my God. He's saying, because the devil is afraid of those words. And you are, you are precious. You have everything to say that. You have Jesus in your heart to go to church, not like other people. You have God with you, so there's no problem. So you always feel that way, no matter what. Don't let anybody push you down. I had priests that pushed me down, accused me, and I never did. And I swear I never did, I cried, they didn't believe me. And that's terrible. It's awful, even to today. But I forgive them because I feel I have Jesus in my heart. And Jesus said, forgive and forget. If you don't forgive your neighbors, he cannot forgive you. So you see, you have to. You are better than those evils over there. You're a beautiful person inside and out. And whatever happens in your family, you know Jesus is there to help you, whatever it's going to be. If they happy with the money, but you have Jesus in your heart. And Jesus will help you, if not in this, maybe with other things, other things that in life, when you are broke, when you have no money later on in life, or you're sick, Jesus is there to cure you. And this is what you are. You're better than those people who just want the money who go to church. Yeah. So don't yes. feel bad. You leave it every day up to God, and he will help you.
So I better Amen. don't waste your time because you're over here to pray. No, 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 we can't. And I'm morning. sorry, here no. I am. No, 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 no. Oh, that, that, that was the whole. That was the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, I need that to was the Holy Spirit. Uh, he and I definitely needed to hear it tonight. So thank you. And I'm sorry, you know. No, your hair must be different. I, said, I think I straightened it last time I was here. Whatever. Or it grew out, maybe. Like I was a bit more blonder. Yeah, That's well, all. no, whatever. It is. It's okay. No, no, but, it's okay. But you know what? I'm sorry. Amen. You're still very but, sweet, and, and, though. And, and, you introduced me to your home. I'm like, I, I know. I've been here. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's okay. Yeah, but you know, like I just no, no, please, it's don't okay. Don't mind me. I submit. No, Anna, Anna, you're very wise to say though that prayer because of spiritual warfare. And in Florida, you are right. There are many cases of exorcism. I've heard that are on exorcism, the rise. Exorcism, yes. Yeah, they're on the rise. And... Uh, I used to go to Saint Casimir's Church. Yes. And they had a rosary every Tuesday, mm -hmm. and the priest and the deacon used to go to have the exorcism. And it was awful the way he was telling us. You know, it's really awful. Yeah. In a matter of fact, recently I had a very, very bad dream. My good husband could tell you this past two weeks. Uh, awful dream with the devil. Mm -hmm. That one to go, there was, we were walking to people, and then I see something, and I came to me, you know, like a thing, and I said, Jesus is my God, then you get away, I'm stronger than I'm screaming. Mm -hmm. And the eyes and everything was awful twice this past, last week, I think, was it? Mm -hmm. But it disappeared. So, and what is the devil going to good people? And you can't give up. Look at Padre Pio, you remember Padre Amen. Pio? Amen. How the devil hit him throw him against the wall, have he suffered. And other, other uh, John Vianney and, uh, yeah. saints. So you know what? We good people have to suffer. I had suffered a lot. With the priest that I really loved, two of them, not even one, and they swore up and down that I did it. And I cried, I said, God is my judgment. I'm telling you the truth. It wasn't me. Amen. They find out after it was somebody else. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry is my father used to say. It's an awful word. Yeah. I killed my wife. I'm sorry. It's too late now. Yeah, I know. That awful word to say, I'm sorry. So you are hurt. And you will be hurt many times. Accept it. We heard God. We crucified him. And he suffers for us. So we take whatever it comes. No matter how it hurts, you turn around and kiss that person. I was the best person after that too. They he worshipped me like the ground I walk after me, he called me everything. Fun of all the people around us, and not loud, and like this, you. But you know what? I had God with me. He had the devil in him that moment. Amen, the accuser. So you see, it's, we all have it, even priests, no matter how good they are. Oh, trust me, I know. Mm. I know. Plenty of fun experiences, right, Karina? Yeah. Both are ends. So you see, you have to be stronger, very strong. But by grace, by and grace. And don't give up because you're the faith. best in the whole world. Because you there, you help people, you do things. You were here with him. You know what a great gift for him to come. Somebody who was there to hold his hand. Anytime, you know, Jim. you know what a beautiful thing that is. This is why you're awesome. I worship the way he is, the way he is trying to do things. Amen. That is an example of a holy man. Amen. Yes, he is. And he has to keep going. Don't give up, John. I'm not. Be strong. He must if increase. God doesn't want decrease. you to be a priest, God has a certain things to be something else. There's always a reason. Do not give up. You're stronger than the devil becoming a boy push you down. Amen. Amen. And you could do it, no matter what. With your faith, you could move a mountain. 
and yeah. remember that. Somebody hit you, hurt you, love them, forgive them. Yeah. That's it. The That's easy for you to say. <laughs> Honey. Somebody hit me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to All you. right. <laughs> It's a, a, a video less about this. It's joking. It's joking around here. We don't need, honey, we don't need any joke. Okay? This is what now recently everybody does. That's what the devil is, is doing. This is why it. Okay? Okay. This is why the, Lutheran, I this is why the Lutheran pastor is He's trying to make more jokes. No, this is no okay. more jokes, honey. No, it's okay. This is serious. Yeah, I know it's serious. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So you better be quiet. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Andy. I'm quiet. with you, Andy. That's okay. To break all this. Can you turn my head? Start, start making. That's okay. We need to laugh. Start making you us laugh. So oh, this man. way we don't feel sorry. It's, it's not easy. That's okay. It's not easy, yeah. man. It's not. But no. you, God, both, you both are right. God will lead me to preach, pastor, and teach. Mm -hmm. I know in his way he's setting the way before me. So, that's it. So, uh, I don't know you want to say the rosary journey or what would you like to say or do, I mean, I talked enough and I think no, I wasted no, 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 too much time. No, 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 no. I have about I, 15 minutes. I'll, I'll just say a quick prayer and then um, I'll torture poor Korean to touch my articles uh, to the icon. And if you want to just pray or whatever, yeah. I... Because she's got a lot of stuff over there. Oh, there'll be like three. There okay. won't be a lot here. We place ourselves into the presence of Almighty God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up our hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. It is right to give the Lord both thanks and praise, always and at every time. Even in tribulation, even in distress, even in anxiety, even in fear. Lord Jesus Christ, your servant Elijah was afraid when he stood on Mount Carmel. And when he prayed before you, single-handedly with Elisha, against the 450 false prophets of Baal. And yet fire descend from heaven and showed that the sacrifice of Elijah was worthier than that of the false prophets of Baal because the Lord God of Israel was with him. Your servant Moses was afraid when he led the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Moses was a murderer. Moses had grown up in the court of the Egyptians and their idolatry, and yet you elected Moses to be your chosen vessel through which you rescued your people Israel. Noah was afraid when he built his ark to prepare the people, and yet though only eight persons were saved in the entirety of creation, through these eight the whole earth was renumbered. Your servant, Deborah, was afraid when she fought Sisera. Though she was a mother in Israel, God led her to be a judge and a warrior. And she thrust out the opponent. And through the work of another holy woman, the head of Sisera was severed and pierced with a tenth peg. Through your servant Gideon, who was meek and mild, you raised him up to be a soldier against the forces of the Midianites. Through his work, the people of Israel were protected from the foe and from the enemy and from the avenger of blood. And yes, in the fullness of time, when you took on a body through the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, when you took on human flesh, that we might be rescued by the shedding of your righteous blood. You took upon yourself on the night that you were betrayed all the anxiety, all the fears, all the worries of the world in the Garden of Gethsemane, crying out in the Garden, Abba, Father, if it is your will, let this cup pass from me. But not my will, but thine be done. You could have called on twelve legions of angels to escape. You hold all of creation in your hand. Upon the cross, you could have snapped your fingers and said, Enough, I've had it, I'm out of here. On the night that you were betrayed, when you took bread and broke it, gave it to your disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body 
given up for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And afterwards, taking the cup, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant poured out for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. You could have stopped the sacrifice right there and said, All of this has already accomplished it. I've spoken it on God. It's done. But instead, you went to the cross. You went to our death. You went to our suffering. You went to our pain. You went to the farthest depths of the netherworld so as to lift us up. And on the third day, triumphantly standing forth, as you said to Mary Magdalene, Mary, calling her by name, so too you have called us by name, in baptism, from death to life, causing us to be born again of water and of the Spirit, so that we might be raised to eternal joy. Lord, you said in the upper room, in John chapter 20, Peace be with you. And he breathed upon the disciples, as you breathe upon us. And you said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whoever sins you forgive, they are forgiven them. Whoever sins you retain, they are retained. Lord, come, O Holy Spirit. Come, O Paraclete, O come, O Comforter. O come, thou who didst speak through the prophets, thou who doth raise the dead, thou who didst speak through your servants throughout time and space, who is active and lives in us right now. Come, thou who shutteth the jaws of lions, who parteth the waters, and who spoke in a still, small voice. May our hearts be open to that voice. May your hearts be open to your voice. May your hearts be opened to your voice. Love, O Lord, for it is by your stripes, O Jesus Christ, that we are healed. It is by your wounds that we are redeemed. Lord, for those who set themselves proudly against us, if they will not return through repentance, Lord, may you silence the jaws of the avenger and thrust them out. Lord, for every hand that would seek to work proudly against your people, remember the cry of the poor. Remember the cry of your little ones. Remember Karina here. Remember myself. Remember Mary Worship, my aunt. Remember all those suffering. Remember all who heareth these words. Lord, raise them up. Lord, when we find ourselves in distress, when we find ourselves asking, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Help us to recognize that you entered into our abandonedness so as to redeem us, so as to rescue us, so as to save us. For it is written, Eye has not seen, ear hath not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of anyone of what God has prepared for those who love him. And because we know that you have left us the promise of the empty tomb, because you have left us the promise of the Mount of Olivet where you ascended into heaven, because you have given us the tabernacle and the sacrament of the altar, but because you have given us the gift of those who are here present, we humbly implore your divine majesty to come, to save us, and to deliver us, and to hear the words fulfilled that which Moses spoke at the parting of the water. Stand still and behold the salvation of the Lord. For these Egyptians that you see here today who oppressed you, you shall see them no more. Lord, as the water parted for your servant, so let our destruction pass over us. May we have that sacred Passover, for we are covered in your precious blood. Lord, as you did cause the water to be turned into wine, a cana of Galilee, when you, Mary, who are present, said, do whatever he tells you, pointing to your blessed son, so too may we see water of anxiety, water of distress, water of illness, turn into the wine of the Holy Spirit, the wine of your promise that gives us freedom. And Lord, as you shook the very walls of hell, 
by your resurrection. When you set the prisoner and the captive free, saying that the Spirit of the living God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, to set at liberty the captive, to preach the recovery of sight to the blind, to record the year of the salvation of Jubilee of our God, even so, Lord, may this Jubilee, may this season, may this covenant, may this victory be seen now in your servants. Lord, you are our Father, hear us. Lord, you are our Redeemer and Savior, hear us. Lord, you are the Comforter, you are the Spirit, hear us. Therefore, with one voice, as you taught us to pray, even so we cry out to you, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For Jesus, thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you takest away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Etche. Agnus Dei, ecce quitolis peccadamundi misereri nobis. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Lord, in the silence of our hearts now, Because if we were to list our requests, they would be more than the ocean before you. Lord, in the tabernacle of our thinking now, we ask that you would come spiritually into our hearts. Where there are thorns, remove them. Where you wish them to remain, grant us perseverance. Where there is fear, grant us hope. Where there is death, grant us life. Where there is vengeance, grant us mercy. Where there is bitterness, grant us resolve. Where there is sorrow, grant us joy. Where there is doubt, grant us faith. Where there is Anxiety, grant us courage. Where there is hatred, grant to us your love. All right, God, I'll take that as a sign to shut up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.